When you do a punch in transition to hide a cut or for emphasis, sometimes it's a little jarring. Here's a super easy way to make it seamless. Let's jump over to DaVinci and here we have our clip for this video that we're working on. So what we're going to do is we're going to punch in this clip. So here's how we do it. Jump over here to the cut screen, scroll to the thing you, the part you want, which is this bit right here. We're just going to punch in over here. There's an icon which does an automatic punch in close up. And when you click it, what it does is it copies your clip that you're punching in, puts it in a new track and zooms it in. It's a little random about how it does this. So what I want to do is stretch it out so that it's the whole clip that I want. So now if we play it, you notice when we do this, my eye level changes and I don't like that. So what we're going to do is fix it. And here's how Go over to video, make sure you're on the clip near the beginning where you want to match it up. Come down to composite here, change the composite to add. Now you can see both tracks at the same time. Now come up to position, move the Y level of the zoomed track up so that the eye level matches. And then I like to match up on pick an eye and match it up, change it back to normal, go back in and watch this transition. Now when the transition happens, my right eye is in exactly the same spot. So your viewer's eye doesn't have to jump around if they're making eye contact with your face on the screen. Just makes it a little more seamless. So try that. Catch you next time.